Hello and welcome to this video, how to make a product photography light box at home from any old box or cardboard. I'm using this Amazon old box, which is quite a handy thing. I basically taped up the sides just to make it a bit longer to allow me to take photos. Now this box will range in size depending on the types of things you're photographing. If you've got quite a few things you're planning to photograph at home, just get the right size box you want. You'll watch me here currently making it. I just speeded this up and I'm doing a voiceover to save you watching the whole long process. But this is basically a thin card and I'm taping up the sides to make it a nice long cardboard. I have A4 sheets of paper which I'm going to be using for the diffusion. So this is something everybody should be able to make at home. So I'm basically just uh, measuring up which side would be best, making a few pencil marks and then making sure to cut within those pencil marks so there's the paper just doesn't fall through if that makes sense and um, so this is an old amazon box like i've said make sure you're careful with these sharp box cutters because they can cut a lot of skin <laughs> but yes yeah, so i'm basically cutting out a little box on each side and um, in my example i only put one light here but i'm going to be doing a live photography shoot along but i'll show you how to position lights to get the best from this so here you can see that's the top and um, we will do the same for both sides I'll show you one but it's basically the same thing over and over again so I'll show you this side and you repeat that on the other side as necessary cut out the little square and basically tape your paper onto it this is a temporary solution if you've got like 10 or 20 items you need to take a photo of for eBay or your own jewelry or anything like that it's a great option you'll have enough space in there for putting down like a bottom base some type of material maybe a luxury velvet type material I'm just going to show you an example with the white standard paper so here's the inside now I've done the outsides And just put a bit of white paper in there and also curve white paper down so there's no harsh line for the corner just doing a bit of tape to hold it into position it's a quick rough thing just to show you it is possible i'm hoping you find it useful i will link you to a playlist of other stuff i've made for the diy photography home style stuff which is fairly easy for most people to do and i think you'll find it nice similar to the soft box in the back you can see i used another old shoe box to make that so here you can see it's all ready i've put a little battery in there for a test shoot i'll show you a few images popped up just to show you how it shoots when it does take the photo and it's perfectly fine you can adjust the paper so you don't see a line slight shadow which is good and yeah that's how it looks i'm hoping you find this helpful if you've got an old box lying around make sure to use it and yeah get yourself a nice little setup at home if you've got a light it's even better because that light will push down on the shadows and make you a nice see there that looks kind of good it's one light you can use desk lamps or anything else you've got at home the idea is to soften the light and i'll show you this with flashes as well but i'll show you a few images of how the box looks when it's illuminated and not illuminated so it's kind of a nice little thing to have around for product photography and i'll link you to a playlist where you can find more diy photography projects you can do at home